Same thing with the female. Oh man, this I had I had a conversation with another female that was saying that her trainee, I mean her trainer, didn't take showers, and she was on her period. Y'all know that. Y'all know that, bro. Y'all know that period blood stinks. She said she would go to bed with the with with. Without, you know, taking off her clothes, hopping to bed, and all that period funk just, just, just funks up the 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 back. Just, ooh, girl, ain't you gonna take a shower? I mean, we parked right here at the Loves. Like, is you gonna take a shower? I mean, a bird. You, you I mean, there's so much of a bird bath that can do, but you do need to get up and take a shower, man, every once in a while. Every once in a while, especially if we're sitting, we're not leaving. We 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 get up. She said we get up at five o'clock in the morning. We don't leave until twelve. That's five. What twelve in the evening? She's like, yeah. Wait, y'all get up at five, but y'all don't leave at twelve. So from five to twelve, she's not taking a shower. No. No, she get up five o'clock, put on her clothes, and that's it. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, 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 yo, hey. And you gonna hit that shower? Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. You know, there's a video of a dude taking the shower in 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 the uh, fuel aisle. You know, maybe he just didn't have no credits, but I'll give him credit for taking the shower. <laughs> you gotta you gotta get fresh any kind any kind of way you gotta get it bruh but come on 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 some for real stuff man you know you you got you 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 stink of period blood and funk that's really not a not not a good combination somebody give me a shout out somebody give me a thumbs up for period blood because <laughs> that's not a good combination you know, I mean, I know some of you, I know some of you male drivers out here. Y'all like, y'all, y'all like to hit it with that period blood. I'm just saying, <laughs> but, but being around teaming, training with a person that just got bad hygiene is, is not a good look. It's not a good look for you. It's not a good look for the truck. It's not a good look for the company. You know, I mean, at least you want to be fresh. You want to smell good. You want to look good. How the fuck is you going to hurt a nigga feel his way? Push it from the back. Back. So long with me, nigga. Push it from the back. Push it from the back. Oh, God. Push it from the back. Push it from the back. I ain't push it from the back. Push it from the back. I ain't push it from the back. Push it from the back. Oh, God. Push it from the back. Push it from the back. You know, I mean, if you don't comb your hair or nothing like that, you know, put on a hat. But when you go in to the shippers and receivers, you're representing the company that you're driving for. I'm representing the company that I'm driving for. I don't want to go in there and misrepresent the company. Because trust me, anything that you do or say will get back to the company. And if it's if it's one of the company's uh, uh, clients, oh, they're gonna tell you like, oh, okay, well, you know, we 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 don't need you no more because you, you know, we don't need that bad representation. Going there, looking good, feeling good, being clean, and everything is what it's all about, man. So you know, every once in a while, take a shower. At least, at least take, you know, at least take a shower. I mean, if you don't get a chance to take a shower, you know, and you want to do the bird bath thing, I get it. But baby, if you like at a truck stop sitting for five hours waiting to go, then it only takes like, well, takes me about 15, 20 minutes to shower before a female might take a little bit longer. But I'm just saying, just get in there, 
slap some water on your ass, okay? And and, and keep it moving. How the fuck is you gonna hurt a nigga feeling this way? But trainers, though, like if you get a trainee on your truck, man, like I said, again, be about the business of helping the train, the, the, the trainee out. Make sure they doing what they need to do instead of just using them. Well, all I just want you to do is drive all day. And uh, after you finish driving, that's it. No, show them how to back. Show them how to fill out the paperwork. Show them how to fill out the Qualcomm. If I ask you something about the Qualcomm or something like that, don't get don't don't get agitated because I'm asking you 50 million questions. Obviously, I'm asking you that because I don't know. Where are we going? How are we going to get there? What route should we take? Am I if I'm driving a manual? If am I shifting good? Double clutch, float. You know, that's the that's the kind of stuff I need to learn while driving in the truck. Teach me how to do the paperwork. Make sure that I'm that I'm filling out the paperwork right because the paperwork is important for you to get paid, right? If they don't sign, if they don't sign the paperwork for whatever reason, you might not get paid for that load. So you need to you you need to teach them, you need to teach them about that. You need to teach them and train them about that. Again, your job as a trainer is supposed to be about the business of teaching. It ain't supposed to be about the business of you talking religion. It ain't supposed to be about the business of you talking politics. It ain't supposed to be about the business of, in this case, I had a trainee, I had a female trainee tell me about her, her female trainer talking about her black friends. Oh, <laughs> you know, I got a lot of black friends, uh, I, I I got a question. Why why do these why do these black girls do this and why do these black girls do that? And I'm she said she's sitting there like, lady, just because you know I'm a black woman, what the what the hell I'm supposed to know what other people supposed to be thinking or doing? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you know, I, you know, my my black friend, you know, she does things that I don't even understand. You know, and I, I, I'm just kind of asking like, yo, I, no, no, let's let's not talk about that. I'm, I'm not here to talk about what your black friends are doing. Or your uh, or if you're white, if you're a white uh, trainee and it's a black, you know, person training you, vice versa. We we don't need to we we don't need to know about that. The what I need to know is am I driving this truck right? See, a lot of you guys, a, a, a lot of a lot of these guys that come into the industry think that this is a joke, think that this is like all fun and games because they get their inspirations from people on uh social media and they make this look like oh it's all fun and you know. So you guys is you guys when y'all come into this industry, man. For you guys, same thing with you. You know, the the, the 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 consensus here is be about the business. Be about the business, okay. I mean, same thing that I'm telling the tr uh, the trainers to be about the business. I need you guys to be about the business. I know you're excited. I know this is, uh, you're, you're excited, you're scared, and you're, you're uh, drilling and pumping all at the same time. Come in here and be about the business. You, di you, you did not spend 
thousands and thousands of dollars on your on your CDLs to come in here to make friends with nobody. You can do that after you get after you get your experience. After you get your experience, then you can be like, oh, OK, well, let's get some trucker friends. OK, all right, cool. I'm with that. But but while I'm in training in training mode, that's what it's all about. If you notice, that's how a lot of these guys, a, a lot of these a, a lot of these veteran drivers that that made trucking a success for them they was about the business they was about the grind they wasn't about nothing else they put everything and they set it aside and they was focused they wasn't focused about making no videos. They wasn't focused about YouTube. They wasn't focused about sharing their journey. They was focused. They was focused. Them the ones that was like trained from their from from their granddads, from their dads, and then when they went to the school, they already knew what to do and they was focused. Why you not focus if you're spending all that kind of money to get your CDL? Why? Why you not focus? You got to be focused. You're spending five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars for your CDL. Just to get in here, just to, oh, well, now I need a YouTube channel so I can so I can document my journey. Bump a journey. Bump documenting the journey. It get in there and, and, and be focused about getting your experience. Because the journey doesn't matter if you don't, if, if, if you don't, if you mess up and you can't drive no more. And then you just wasted tens and thousands of dollars simply because you wasn't focused. Stay focused. I was. When I got, look, the reason why I got in here, uh, the reason why I got in here, I got separated. I separated from my wife. I knew if I didn't do anything else, I, I don't know what would have happened to me. But for the God grace of my rock, which is my son, he was like, dad. He was like, listen, man, you you and mom's no more. You, you're going to have to move on. Listen, you, you've been talking about trucking for years, man. Why, why don't you go ahead and uh, why don't you go ahead and give it a shot? And then that fateful day, I got that call to do a to do a lockout on that semi truck with that uh with, with the lady. And that same day, I went over to Tri C Trucking Academy and slapped down five thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars and fifty two cents. I know I keep changing the amount, but it was around that range. And then from there, the rest was history. I got focus. There was plenty of times when I was when I was at school and I didn't think I was going to make it through. I didn't think I was going to I, I was going to, you know, be able to drive a manual because I kept grinding gears. But what 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 the instructor that I had, he was like, look, here, pull over, lockout. I need you to get focused. Get a deep breath and get focused. All you gotta do is remember this, remember this step. Clutch in, clutch out. Because at that time, I ain't know nothing about floating. I mean, I know floating now, but back then, clutch in, when you come out, clutch out to go in. And then with that, I got smooth with it because I was focused. When I came in, when, when I came in with U.S. Express, I was focused. Yeah, I did that. I, I I did that little video that I did when I was in the uh when I was in the hotel room. But after that, 
It wasn't no more videos after that. Videos didn't start coming until I got by myself. But when I, I, I you know what? I wish I did uh, put it all on video when I was with my trainer, but my focus wasn't about that. My focus was about getting my experience so I can get in, so I can upgrade and get in the truck. That's what's my focus. And that's what you guys need to learn. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, y'all focus is misplaced because y'all see all these, all these, well, it ain't YouTubers no more. You see all these TikTokers and all like that, these TikTok trucking influencers with millions of with millions of followers and all like that over here saying trucking is great, trucking is good. Look at what I'm doing in trucking. If I can truck, you could too. Look at how much I make. Look at what I'm doing. Look at the TikTok dances I'm doing. It's all great. You get in the trucking, you get to go places, you get to go TikTok dance in front of the Ma Taj Mahal. And see, that's where y'all lose focus at because y'all come in, start doing the TikToks and all like that and don't know jack nothing about the truck or the company or the industry for that matter. Like parking, for example. What you gonna do when you can't find no parking and your time is running out? They ain't saying nothing about that. What you gonna do what, what you going to do when you get with a company that's not treating you well? They ain't telling you nothing about that. They ain't telling you nothing about, they ain't telling you nothing about how these companies like to use, abuse, and, 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 and spit you out. They ain't tell you nothing about that. They ain't telling you nothing about how these companies like to, like to talk you into these, these messed up leases and all like that. They ain't telling you nothing about that. They ain't telling you nothing about how these these recruiters like to like to get you on and 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 things be different with the company. They ain't say nothing about that. They ain't saying nothing about how these foreign companies want you to do 900 900 to 1000 miles a day putting your CDL at risk. Oh, well you want to know how you could do that? How 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 can I do that? Well, all you have to do, I tell you. Let me tell you right quick. What what do I have to do? All you have to do is call into the law department. Yeah, yeah. And tell them that you need some more time. Well, whoa, whoa. For real? Yeah, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Tell them that you need some more time, you know, and we'll fix it. Now, I used to I, I used to work for a black ops company before I got with the company where I'm at. And there was plenty of times, right, that let's say, for example, I will start my clock. By mistake, and I would be like, hey, you know, hey, such and such, you know, I started my clock uh, by mistake. And, um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to know how to, you know, how, how, how to fix that. Oh, don't worry about it. Just, uh, take your, this, this go ahead and, and certified the certified the day. This is real talk certified the day. And then after you certified the day, uh, We'll we'll do we'll we'll take care of the rest on our end. Next thing I know, my clock will be reset. Yeah, whoa, damn! I ain't know y'all could do that. Because with U.S. Express, I'd be like, I, with U.S. Express, I ain't even have a PC. I would have to call up U.S. Express, be like, yo, you know, I'm I'm kind of running out of time, and 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 the fleet manager is. Is making me go all the way over here, and and I'm I'm almost out of time. What I can do? Uh, well, uh, ain't nothing too much you can do because if if you go into violation, uh, you know, yeah, you you'll be in violation. Yeah, but but 
the fleet manager said for me to for me to get there and I'm, you know I'm is there something no is there peace no so what you're telling me is I gotta pull over to the side of the road and literally shut down well we're not telling you that uh lockout we're, we're, we're not telling you that what we are telling you is is that for whatever reason you go into violation, you got to make sure you have a reason why you're in violation. And if that reason that val ain't valid, then, you know, you you could stand a chance of getting a ticket. What I did, I started shutting down an hour or two, uh, uh, maybe about two, three hours before my clock ran out. Then I would get a call from the fleet manager talking about where you at. I'm at the trust stop, bro. Uh, well, we we can't be late to this. Pl I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm not messing up my CDLs, man. You 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 have to call them and and let them know I'm gonna I'm gonna be late and I'll be bringing it after my ten hour. I can't find nowhere to park. I can't park on the. I I can't park at the at the uh, shipper or receiver. I can't go on the PC, and if I move this truck, I'll be in violation, and it'll reset my clock again, and I will have to wait another ten hours. They don't tell. They don't tell you that, though. They don't tell you that. So yeah, the you you when you come into the industry, you need to be about the business, trainers. And male team uh, team drivers, y'all need to be about the business. New Jacks, y'all need to be about the business. And not be about the BS. Because this, this, this right here is not BS, man. Driving this truck is not BS, man. This truck is serious business. And a lot of influencers out here making it look like a joke. And it's not. This is one of the top five, top three, top ten dangerous jobs that you can that you can that you can do. And a lot of you is not built for it. A lot of you is not it, a lot of you is truly not built for this. You know, y'all, y'all watching these uh, influencers and all like that, asking, you know, asking questions that the influence that, that half of the influencers don't even can't even answer. Only thing they can tell you is that, oh, get in here and get your bag. They ain't telling you about mental health. They ain't telling you about uh, about uh, depression. They ain't telling you about none of that. Didn't you know? Didn't you know that uh, a trainer, a trainer, got killed? What was that? Trainer or trainee? No, trainer got killed by a trainee because that dude, that that dude was messed up in the head. He killed the he 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 killed this trainer. Got out the truck and started walking. But y'all don't know nothing about that, though. Y'all ain't hear nothing about that. Look, what y'all need to do is come over to the Lockout Men podcast show. I mean, I know I do. I know my content is is like is like all all around it. But when it comes to this trucking, and I be doing these, I, I be doing these less less talk. I mean, I'm I'm for real. I look, I. I may not be a veteran in this game, but I've been in it long enough to give you my opinion, my assessment, my experience. Be about the business. And the business is about if you're if you're a new jack, the business for you is to learn and to be focused. If you're if you're a trainer, the business is about training. And if you're a trainee, the business is about learning. 
I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Make classic kids went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart got bars, you got pops. Urge writing the Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.